Most parents would probably agree raising children, well, it's not easy. There are a lot of outside forces that can pull a child down the wrong path. Take a look at Bibb County's juvenile crime numbers. In 2018, seven teenagers were shot and killed. A dozen teens, including two 15-year-olds, are charged in those murders. Four years ago, Bibb Sheriff David Davis started a program to combat this disturbing trend. In tonight's 13 Investigates, I go inside the Consider the Consequences program. You can't be passive with them right now. You got to get their attention. It's intense. Oh, that's too tight. Oh, Good for you. Eight hours. No, no. One Friday. One, two, three, every month. Do you understand yeah. me, sir? The captain, Ellis Sinclair, hopes will change these young people's lives forever. So what we're doing is trying to prevent them from either winding up in two places, either in somebody's jail or in somebody's cemetery. Their parents know the stakes are high. That's why they enrolled them in the Consider the Consequences program. Once again, you're very mouthy. You have no respect for authority. Stealing. Hanging with the wrong crowd. I'm done. And something has to change. So I hope y'all learn today. No, fall in! These children, ages 10 to 16, see what it's like to spend a day in jail. A glimpse of what their future could be if their behavior doesn't change. It is not fun. Just ask Rashid Swain. He went through the program three years ago. Swain says he was stealing food, toys, and clothes many times, he says, for his younger brothers and sisters. The program, especially spending time in a jail cell, helped him realize he had to change. The door is very small, it's cramped, it's cold, it's hard. The only thing you're going to be looking at is your own, the metal piece, metal piece that come out the wall and your toilet. That's the only thing you're going to be looking at. Now, Swain spends his time looking at books, getting an education. The Central High School senior lives at the Methodist Children's Home in Macon and looks forward to graduation in May. He plans to attend South Georgia Tech. He credits the Children's Home, the Consider the Consequences program, and Judge Verda Colvin for getting him on the correct path. You can be in this body bag. And the only way somebody will know you're in here is by this tag that will have your name on it. This video from a previous Consider the Consequences session went viral. Tough talk that's loaded with love. But I try to give them my heart while they're there with me so they'll know that I'm genuine. I really feel some of their pain. She had wrote me a letter saying she's going she gonna to be in my life and help, and help me through my life. Then that really changed me. That's what this program is all about. The exercise, the cell, the food, all designed to show impressionable teens and preteens there are consequences for your actions. Yeah, if we can get them to change it at that age right there, maybe by the time they do reach the point of between 14 to 16, they will know, you know, the consequences that are at stake if they continue to keep traveling down the road they're traveling. I just want our kids to have a real future and to know that, you know, not only are their parents depending on them and our future is depending on them, but their lot in life is depending on them. The Consider the Consequences program is open to 10 to 16 year olds. Parents from around Georgia and other states like Alabama have used the program. Now I asked about the success rate. Organizers say it's really hard to track. They reach out to families each month, encouraging them to continue to take classes. Judge Colvin says she measures the success by seeing those kids who are in her courtroom, like Rashid, thriving out in the community.